Hey guys, so I'm super excited for today's video. I thought of a video idea that I've never seen anyone do before. I looked up names that were similar to it and I really didn't see too much like it. We're just gonna go with it. So if someone did do this, then sorry, but like I feel like I'm creating this. So today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial using techniques that make me uncomfortable or that scare me or that I've never tried before or that I don't wanna try. <laughs> As you can see, I already have like my base pretty much on because most of the things that make me uncomfortable are like either on top of this or involve my eyes or my eyebrows or my lips. So yeah, and I could have done things for my face like uh, using cream bronzer and cream blush and cream highlight and cream all this and do all that, but I just feel like that's too much. Let's just stick with the ones that really feel like I'm going to be challenged by this. I really hope y'all enjoy the video and if you do this video please link it down below please tag people i don't know how you tag people on youtube but you know whatever it's fine um share the video whatever you want to do i just feel like this is a really cool video because there are things that i don't do because i feel like they're too hard or that they're going to challenge me too much or i just feel like i can't do it or whatever if you want to see what makeup techniques make me uncomfortable and my attempt to them then just keep watching one starting with tacky eye primer concealer whatever not setting my concealer Ooh. the second one for my eyes is doing a grungy eye look i feel like some people are probably gonna be surprised at this it's gonna be like a neutral color like i feel like it's gonna be warm brown or dark brown or whatever i normally like my lines crisp and straight this is gonna be all blended grungy just blown out you know <laughs> it's gonna be so great also doing my face before my eyes especially if i know it's gonna be a dramatic look that's a main one because like all the fallout and I won't be able to clean it up even though I can't clean this one up because it's grungy so yeah I said bold brows but really feathery brows I already did my brows but we're gonna do some gel in them because that's really what I don't like is gel over blushed oh my goodness I do not like putting on a lot of blush highlight on my forehead dramatic lower lash line and I mean like black lower lash line not like just blown out or whatever which it's gonna be blown out and black so and i said overdrawn lips whenever your lips have like seven different products on them to make them look bigger the new thing that katie does or whatever hopefully this look will turn out all right i'm gonna start by baking my under eyes because what if this has fallout i can't be dealing with that but i hate baking my under eyes so i'm not gonna go like right under it just because i feel like it's gonna get like super dry i'm gonna smooth out these lines right here because i just feel like there's gonna be such a line right there it's fine i'm just gonna put a little more on because why not and i just have my regular face concealer on so it's probably already set so that's great but i'm putting on my Sante super smooth concealer as usual i'm about to go in with a transition chain on this no i can't do that i know i'm using this palette again don't really care it has like all the colors i need in it i'm gonna start out with the transition shade. i'm gonna like sting and blend this out like two seconds before i think i've seen people like press it in and then and i'm sick right now by the way so I'm, and i've been talking way too much like i shouldn't be talking like filming at all but this is literally the only weekend i have to film and then i was like of course i'm gonna get sick the only time i can film so i am kind of like setting it like is that cheating like i'm blending and setting it listen i'm Oh, that's fine. I feel like it just blends the concealer away. No! This shade, and I'll go in with some of that too. I'm gonna blend it out here, but not too much because I don't want to get like crazy like I normally do and then have to clean it up, you know? So I feel like the concealer's pretty much set by now, so we're past that part of the video. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with that Mac and Cheese color. Why isn't it just called Mac and Cheese? I'm gonna go in with Pukey first. And then I'm gonna go with that shade and I think that one's Hunts. This is Pukey right now, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go in with Hunts. I'm still on the same brush, by the way. I always pretty much use the same brush, the E127, for like the first half or three fourths of the tutorial. That other shade that I pointed to, middle red shade. This one's gonna be my shade for the look, Mocha. I'm probably gonna actually end up going darker, but I'm just starting. I just laid that down on the lid with this brush, and that was the pigment. Like, come on, girl. That was so good. Okay, I'm gonna start doing the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back in with Fuki. I'm like taking all the powder off my lower lash line, but it's fine. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush, but still dense, so that I can like actually not wipe off all this powder. Take that hunt shade and mix it with that middle red shade. I'm gonna go with Mocha. So I feel like Mocha isn't as dark as it started, so so once again, I'm gonna take this brush that I'm using for the lower lash line and just pack it on the lid. E128. Take this E126 on the mustard shade and take it and blend out the edges. Now I'm gonna do black lash line. This flat packer brush. I'm gonna take, um, I don't know what the black shade is called. I'm probably gonna have to put black on my water line, aren't I? Elf D1. 
detail crease brush with the beginning transition shade and just blend i'm gonna go with more of mocha and actually mix it with the central part to give a little bit of a deepening effect on the outer portion i need to put black kite line and waterline liner and i'll put on mascara for blush i'm gonna use the amuse sunset blush i haven't used this in a long time because i've been using my wet and wild one so i'll do one full tap one tap. I probably shouldn't have tapped it off at all, but this is going to be super intense. I'm using my F22 brush, the best splash brush ever. I'm kind of bringing it up in here just because I feel like if I do a super intense blush, then it's just going to make it look like it's like stopped right here. And I'm kind of bringing it down into my contour as well. I'm going to do highlighter. I'm going to do purple because I haven't used the purple one yet. Here we go. I'm going to add a little bit of the white to it just so it pops a little better. I'm going to do like one top of the purple, one top of the white as I said. And then take it up on the forehead. Ugh. Doesn't look bad. Especially since I've been like using Bobby primer up there, so up there. <laughs> I'm gonna use the AOA Studio Go Brow. Dark brown, which the color is fine. I just don't like brow gel. But maybe since I've been doing my brows actually, I think it will look better. My brows are already thick enough, so I feel like just makes my brows look a little too intense. I don't think they look bad. I just feel like they look like the commander from 100. I'm pretty sure her name is Lexa. So there we go. We got that done. Off of the leaps, I start with a lip liner, which already makes me uncomfortable. I don't really like using lip liners with too much work. I was thinking of Elf Spice lip liner, which is that one, but I feel like it's pretty light and I want to be intense. So I'm going to use this one. Belly Colors, a lip liner in chocolate. Mm, I'm pretty sure she lines her whole lip. I think actually it might just be like like the cupid's bow and then like this area just to give the lips some dimension and then i'm gonna go with the daringly nude by maybelline it does it like just here i feel like my lips look pretty plump even though i'm not sure if i did 100 percent what she does actually i really feel like the outside needs lining because i just feel like i don't have a lip there now i would have never thought to put like brown and pink together but i feel like it does really make my lips pretty plump this is the finished look being very uncomfortable the whole time but i don't think it turned out awful i really don't hate anything there's not like one thing i'm just like ooh, this is ugly i feel like this eye makeup makes me look super pale so yeah that was my trying makeup techniques that make me uncomfortable i really hope other people do this challenge we can get stuck in our routine very easily so it's nice to try things if you haven't tried them tell me down below if you like this kind of video where i like make up the video or if you think like no one's ever gonna watch Oh, like who cares if i want to make it then i'm gonna make it i really do challenge you to do this video though or just try it like even if you don't have a channel just try it and like do makeup techniques that you would have never thought to put on yourself see how you like them if you still think they look awful or if you actually like it it might become a new favorite for you my verdict on the look grungy eye makeup is very out of my comfort zone still i feel like the lashes would balance this out i love the brows they feel a little hard but they look really good highway is meh like it's not really that reflective the black lower lash line still makes me uncomfortable the blush cheeks just make me feel like really flushed the lips i love not doing lashes is also making me uncomfortable because i feel like this look calls for lashes i really hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did i would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up and also share it so that other people see it and tag other beauty influencers. I'll probably post a look on my Instagram or something. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!